I've been working on these for over a year and I thought I'd show you guys what it was like for me to bring these cast iron grinder holders to market. I'm gonna try and do it in under 90 seconds. Like most things that I build, it always starts with a 3D print. When I had something I liked, I took it to the CNC and machined a prototype out of aluminum. But the problem was they're just too expensive. Nobody would buy them, including myself. So I went back to the 3D printer and came up with a version out of carbon fiber that I liked. And honestly, those are great. There's nothing wrong with those. I liked them. I started selling them. I was using them in my shop every day, but I just wanted to make something better. And this is the part where I'm extremely lucky to have a friend named Hiri. He's the owner of Kabosu Welding Tables, and I asked him if he could help me out. So he made a couple molds and he started casting these out of cast iron. And they're fantastic. They turned out great. They're cast iron with black oxide, and I could sell them just as they are. But I wanted to add a little personal touch to them, so I wanted to design a logo and some designs that I could laser engrave on them before I sold them. And this is something I've struggled with for years, trying to think of a logo, and I just never could. So I decided to use my own face, and I traced it in Adobe Illustrator and made some cool designs. This Matron laser is easily one of my favorite tools. I love this thing, and the support has been awesome. I can't recommend this machine highly enough. These are available on my website today for 16 millimeter and 28 millimeter tables. And I really appreciate all your guys' support on the 3D printed ones. So right now, um, I'm just charging 20 bucks for them. It's not always gonna be like that, but I want all of those who supported me to have a chance to get them for really cheap.